Hi folks, welcome back to the shop. Today we're going to take a look at this brand new Olight Java Lit long range flashlight. It has a 730 meter throw. If you take a quick look at the back of the box, you can see it has a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. It puts out 1,350 lumens on turbo. So freeze frame that and you can check out those specs. All right, it comes in the nice packaging we're all familiar with from Olight. We open the box, you can see it's got this yellow cover that tells you how to remove the battery cover when you first take the flashlight out. Pull that cover off. There's a look at the flashlight and how it's in the box. You can see it has a holster in here. It's surrounded by foam. Here at the bottom, we have a, a little box you can pull out. This contains the clip and the charger. We're going to take a look at those in a second. And here's the flashlight. You can take a look here. The holster can be mounted on your bag or on a belt. Uh, if you look at the bottom, it's open so you can charge this from the bottom of the holster. I've got an old light charger here that it comes with. Put that on there. You can see it turns green because it's fully charged right now. It would be red if it was charging. You can pull this out of the holster real quick and it kind of clicks into the holster. If I push it back down in here, you can see how it kind of clicks down in there. So it has a nice holster here from Olight, kind of a heavy polymer. Seems really nice. Uh, I've never had a plastic holster, but I can already tell you I like this a lot better than the nylon holsters you get with a lot of flashlights. So here's a quick look at the flashlight. Nice and small. Uh, it's probably the smallest, one of the smallest long throw flashlights I've ever seen. And of course the base of it's magnetic. It's not enough to support the light. Maybe if you're just turning it upside down, it could support it, but it can't support it from the side. All right, let's go through the modes real quick. It's a dual switch flashlight, so there's a switch here on the side and there's one on the tail end of the flashlight, so a tail switch. Make sure this cap is tight once you've taken the battery cover off. Now, if I push this slightly, you can see I get a low output. And then if I push it harder, it goes to turbo. And it's a momentary press if I hold that. So when I let off, it turns off. Now, if I press it down a little bit quickly, you can see it stays on. If I push it all the way in quickly and let off, it stays on turbo. So you can see you have a couple options there with that tail switch. You can just tap it or you can press and hold. Now on the side switch, it works like most other lights do. If I hold the switch down, the flashlight will turn into moonlight mode. You can see, you can barely see the light there. It's a very low output. If, and you can see there's no light here on the switch. Now, if I hold the switch down, it'll go into low. And now the switch turns green. That means it's charged and good to go. This will turn red when it needs to be recharged and orange when it's in the middle area and all those specs are in the manual. If I hold this down, it goes to medium. All right, if I hold it down again, it goes to, to high. And then I hold it down, it'll go back to medium, low. So I'll do it right here real quick. You can see low, medium, high, low, medium, high. Now, if at any point in time I tap this, it will go to turbo. And that's that full 1350 lumen output. Now, if you triple tap the switch when it's off, it will go into a strobe mode. Now, the Olight Java Lot has Olight's new style of tail switch you see on their newer lights. And you can see here that it's got a little bit of a cutaway here on the side and otherwise it's flush. The switch it's itself is actually flush all the way across. And that of course just means you can tail stand it easily. Now this is a long range flashlight. So you can see that the beam really extends out here. It's got a white hot center uh, in the beam. And it's gonna be different from a flashlight like this Baton 3 Pro here. You know, when I turn this Baton on, especially on turbo, you can see it's a much broader beam on the Baton. It's not quite as tight, the center of the light, as it is on this Javelet light white hot center here and that's so this light can reach out uh, and really give you that long range you're looking for. It's also designed so it can be mounted on a weapon if you want. You can buy the accessories for that. You can see here it has, it has a reflector and it doesn't have a TIR lens like some flashlights. Here's an example here I have from Ace Beam. That's a TIR lens there and, and you can see how it looks different. All these TIR lenses look pretty much, you know, very similar, pretty much the same. There's a couple examples right there. So it doesn't have that style of lens. It's got a reflector style or traditional cone lens like a lot of flashlights have. It's got a crenulated bezel here around the flashlight. That's so that you could, you know, use the tail switch and, and use it as a weapon if need be. So that's what that's about. It does come, like I said, with this box that has a charger in it. You can see the charger here. You can look at the outputs there on that charger. It magnetically attaches to the base and charges the flashlight. And if it needed to charge, right now it's charged up. This would be red, this little indicator here. It turns green when it's done, so it's fully charged. It also comes with a clip. You can see the clip here can be mounted in a couple of different locations on the flashlight. So the clip can be slid on here at this part of the flashlight, or you can flip it around and put it here towards the tail. And you can see it's a deep carry clip or one of those clips that can go either way, right? You can mount it this way 
where you can mount underneath the clip, right? So it's a dual type of clip, sort of like this guy here, right? This baton, where you got, you can clip the light this way, or you can clip the light that way. Let's see what kind of battery it has inside. We just remove this cap, and you'll see it has a lithium battery in it. It's a 21700 battery, 5,000 milliamp hours, and, you know, that's going to give you a, a lot of runtime. That's one of the bigger batteries, larger than an 18650. You get that, that high output and longer run times, which really you need for this style of flashlight. So there's a, a look at the flashlight. You can see it's pretty compact. This is smaller than the previous Javelet flashlight. Here I have the Olight Javelet flashlight next to an Olight Baton 2 flashlight. And you can see that the finish is a little bit different between the two. Over here you have sort of a glossier black finish on the Baton 2 and more of a matte finish on the Javelet flashlight. But just a quick comparison there. And you can see how it compares to a Baton 3 Pro in terms of size. You can also compare it to this Ace Beam flashlight. I'll set them both down here and you can see that it's smaller. So for the range that this flashlight has, it's a very small flashlight. That's one of the things I really like about it. It's really impressive and it's really got a great beam on it too. I mean, you can see this Ace Beam has a really bright hotspot in it as well. But one thing I really like about this is the beam pattern on this Javelet is very clean. Uh, there's no there's no distortion here around this light. It's one of the cleanest beam patterns I've ever seen on a flashlight. All right, and here's another light we can compare it to. Here's a through night flashlight. Again, this is also a long throw flashlight, and you can see it's uh, the through night is much bigger than the Jobblet. Uh, so you know this is a nice compact flashlight, easy to mount if you want to mount it. It just feels really great, almost like a matte style finish. It has a little different finish than you would have like on a Baton 3 Pro, and it's uh, just really nice. Feels great. So there you have it. That's the uh, Olight Javelet flashlight. Just a quick word on that. Very nice flashlight from Olight. Very good looking flashlight. Brand new from them. And I think it's just a great offering for a long throw flashlight. You know, if you're not familiar, a lot of flashlights are like this Baton 3 Pro where they sort of have a lot more spill. They don't have that white hot center that you get with that job a lot. They spill out more, the more of an area light is what this Baton 3 would be. And most flashlights are like that. When you get into this style of flashlight, this is long throw. Again, 730 meters. It's really going to get out there a long range if you're trying to see or light up a tree line or something like that and see what's going on off in the distance. So a very handy light when you need it. This would be a great light for your truck. Again, it's got that holster so you can mount it in your truck and have this thing always available. And of course, it can charge right through the holster. I think that's really slick too. Really nice that they have that. Really like the holster. I've got to say, it's got a hook here on the back of it. You can see that whatever you put that on, you know, it's going to mount and stay there. Very, very strong hook as well. I think it's stronger than the previous polymer holsters that Olight have put out for this light. Uh, I'm going to have a link in the description so you can check it out. Like I said, it's brand new and there'll be a discount code in the description for you. Check it out if you're looking for a long throw flashlight just a, or just a flashlight in general. It's just an excellent flashlight, great size from Olight. But that said, let me know in the comments what you think of this light. Do you have a long throw flashlight or you pretty much just have a, an area light, you know, like this Olight clip light here? Uh, this guy here is just a kind of a work light. That's a great light as well. I'll probably have a separate video on that. You can stand this light on its tail. It's magnetic or you can take the light and you can clip it on a tool bag. So it's a really neat work light from Olight. That's the Olight O-Clip. I'll have a link in this in the description as well. So there you have it, folks. The new Olight Javalot flashlight from Olight. Uh, excellent long throw flashlight. Definitely think you should check it out. And let me know in the comments what you think of this flashlight. If you're thinking about getting one, uh, please remember to like and subscribe. Uh, there's no cost to subscribe. All those actions help me to continue to bring content to you on this channel. And with that said, I'll see you in the next video.